Hey guys, I'm Tiffany Dunham, author of The Eighth Pawn and Swat the Fly. You can check them out at eighthpawn.com or on eBay. Um, I'll leave links below too. So today I wanted to come and tell you about my experience today at the library. I went to the library with my three kids that are two, four, and six years old uh, to pick up some books that I needed for homeschool because I go there very often for books that correlate to the science lesson or the math lesson or whatever. And while we were there, my kids wanted to each pick out a book, um, a children's book for me to read to them when we sat down to read together. And of course, who's gonna say no to that? So I told them, yes, go each pick one book. And we're just in and out today, guys. So they ran and they each grabbed a book and they came back and they handed them to me and I looked at the two and four-year-old's book briefly and they looked normal and I looked at my six-year-old books brief, the book she picked out briefly Peyton's pronoun party, and I thought, well, that's a little advanced for you with English, but sure, yeah, okay, great. And I checked everything out because I was in a hurry. <laughs> I didn't stop to think. This might not just be about grammar. Uh, maybe that is the trilinguist in me that, that is always thinking about language in structure. Because um, I thought we were going to have a little English lesson with this book. <laughs> What I didn't realize is we were going to have a little LGBTQ agenda lesson with this book. Um, so I opened it and I realized right away I opened it like this. So it didn't go to the first page, it kind of skipped one. And I just started glancing. And I realized, but Peyton also puzzled about who he really was. And in that moment I realized, oh, okay, that's this kind of a book. And I said to my daughter, I don't think we can read this book. And so I started like um, glancing at it a little bit more. And I go, uh, we can't read this book. This, we're gonna set this one aside. And she's like, why? Like, cause it's not appropriate. She's like, why mom? I go, because it's teaching something that God disagrees with. It's teaching you that it's okay to do something that is not biblical. So we love people who, who do things we disagree with, but we're not gonna teach it in this house. And I set it aside, that was it. And you guys, I still haven't read this whole book, but I've read just a little bit more because I knew I was gonna come share. And I'll read you this page real quick. It says, we'll call you whatever you're comfortable with, Peyton's mother said with a hug. Peyton's father nodded. Your friends use different pronouns. Why don't you ask them for advice? Once you decide, we'll throw a big party to celebrate, said Peyton's mother. I have a problem with this book being in my library, and here's the reason why I have a problem with it. Because this book is in my library, but this book isn't. See, this book was written by a local author here in my town, one that I've never met, um, but I bought her book to support her since we're both children's book authors in the same town. And this book is a little bit lengthier. And it kind of reminded me of an early chapter book more than a picture book. But nonetheless, it was written well. It had a cute story and it had a good message. The message in this book is pretty much the opposite of the message in this book. This book's message is God made you just the way you're supposed to be. Now that's a message I'm happy teaching in my house. Um, and here's the thing, this book is not in the library. Uh, here's how I know that. <laughs> the author and I became friends on Facebook and I saw a post one day, I can't remember if it was her personal page or her author page, um, but she posted that she donated this to our local library and they would not catalog it. She donated it, it was free to them, but they wouldn't catalog it. Um, the reason they gave her is that it has some nonfiction in it with like the moon and sun that talk, but it has, or sorry, fiction <laughs> with the moon and sun that talk, but it has nonfiction in it because it mentions God. So they didn't know how to categorize it so they weren't gonna catalog it in the library. Okay, so my tax dollars went to purchase this book, 
but this book that was free to the library wouldn't be cataloged. I personally have a problem with that. I don't know if you do. I guess you can let me know in the comments below. I'll leave you a link for this one. Um, yeah, that's what your tax dollar money is going to, to this, not to this. So anyway, like, subscribe, share this video. And if you want more recommendations about books that are a little bit more like this, um, be sure to follow my channel because I recommend books that are appropriate for your kids and that aren't serving an agenda unless you consider um, Christianity to be a, an agenda, in which case this isn't the channel for you. But yeah, I, most of my books aren't Christian that I promote, but uh, I don't know. I just, I had to share that with you because these are so opposite. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.